Glory to you, O giver of light. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace. Goodwill on all people. We praise you, we bless you. We worship you, we glorify you. We give thanks to you for your great glory. Only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, you who take away the sin of the world. We see your breath, you who sit at the Father's right, and have mercy on us. For only you are the Holy One, only you are the Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father, Amen. Every day will I bless you, I will praise your name forever, to the ages of ages. Count us worthy, Lord, in our pastiness, David, and our sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, your name is praised and glorified forever, amen. Let your mercy descend upon us, O Lord, for we have sinned willingly or unwillingly, forgive us the good and loving God, who are in us your word, and you, O Lord, blessed are you, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you, teach me your commandments. You have been our refuge, Lord, from one generation to the next. I cried out, Lord, have mercy on me, heal my soul. I have sinned against you, I run to you, O Lord, teach me to please you, for you are my life. Source of all life, 
By his own death he destroyed death, bestowing on us victory and his great mercy. Each divine liturgy gives us an opportunity to enter into the kingdom of God. Thus, when you come into an Orthodox church, when you look up and you see the beauty of it, we believe that in essence, as we walk into the sanctuary, we are entering the kingdom. And when we offer our beautiful prayers and the liturgical aspects of it, we indeed enter into our Lord's kingdom and there is no time, but rather we are worshiping with those saints that are around us and those who have long gone. And that's our prayer, that we pray with those who passed on and we're praying with all our loved ones. For those of you who are watching at home and you would like to light a candle, you can go to St. Mark Boca Donet. In your upper right-hand corner, there's a link that says light a candle. We have a beautiful tradition here that we light that candle for you. John and Gerard and Steve are here and Helen, and then they send a picture of that prayer back to you. That's in an anticipation when all of us can all be back here as one. May God bless us as we enter his kingdom. <clears throat> Master, give the blessing. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Enirini tu kiriu deithomen. Υπέρ της άνωθεν ειρήνης και της σωτηρίας των ψυχών ημών του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Δεϊσόν. Υπέρ της ειρήνης του σύμπαντος κόσμου ευσταθίας των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών και της των πάντων ενώσεως του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Δεϊσόν. Υπέρ του Αγίου Οικουτού Του και των μεταπίστεως ευλαβίας και φόβου Θεού Ισιών τον εν αυτό του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Δεϊσόν. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop Alexius, for the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the President, and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the Holy and Great Church of Christ, for this holy metropolis, for this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the perils of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our brethren and those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, the scientists and first responders, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you belong.
song, O oh, glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his rewards. Through the intercession of the Theotokos, Deus Tebos. The Lord prepared his throne in the heaven, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Des presbias tis Theotokos, so the so so ni ma again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord Lord have mercy help us save us have mercy upon us and protect us O God by your grace Lord have mercy come in our most holy pure blessed and glorious lady the Theotokos and ever virgin Mary with all the saints let us commend ourselves in one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord of my soul and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, forget not all his reward. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Lord, prepare his throne in the heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. O mono genisios que logos tu teu, a tanatos y paco, que cacta de exámenos y a ti ni meteran su tiria, san cotine, pectis a guías de otoku, que a mi patén maquillo, a dedos en antropisas, sabrotiste cristeo teos, Tanato, tanato, patisas, isos, isaguías triados, sin doxas o menos to patri, que to aguío pneumati, son, son, y más. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. mercy. Come, our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious lady of Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in her whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are good and loving God, and to you we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. From on high you descended, most merciful. Descended to be three days very old to set us free from the passion 
O Lord, our resurrection and our life, glory to you. Sophia, Orthia, the worship and bow down before Christ our Lord. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. We sing to you.
mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever to the ages of ages. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. With conviction, the enemy. Make your vows to the Lord our God and perform them. God is known in Judah. His name is great in Israel. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, when God made a promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore to himself saying, surely I will bless you and multiply you. And thus Abraham, having patiently endured, obtained the promise. Men indeed swear by a greater than themselves, and in all their disputes, an oath is final for confirmation. So when God desired to show more convincingly to the heirs of the promise the unchangeable character of his purpose, he interposed with an oath, so that through two unchangeable things in which it is impossible that God should prove false, we who have fled for refuse might have a strong encouragement to seize the hope set before us. We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner shrine behind a curtain where Jesus has gone as a forerunner on our behalf, having become a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. <clears throat> Ευξάστε και απόδοτε κυρίω το Θεό ημών, γνωστό εν τη Ιουδαία ο Θεό, εν το Ισραήλ μέγα το όνομα αυτού. Σοφία προ Εβραίου επιστολή, Παύλου το ανάγνωσμα. Πρόσκομαν αδελφοί. Το Αβραάμ απαγγυλάμενος ο Θεός, επί ουδενός είχε μίζωνος ο Μώσε, όμως σε καθεαυτού λέγον, «Ή μη ευλογών ευλογήσωσε και πληθύνων πληθυνώσε, και ούτε ο μακροθυμής σας επέτυχε της επαγγελίας». Άνθρωποι μεν κατά γαρ, άνθρωποι μεν γαρ κατά του μίζωνος ομνίουση, και πάσης αυτής αντιλογίας πέρα συσβεβαίωση είναι ο όρκος, ενώ περισσότερο βουλόμενος ο Θεός επιδείξε της κληρονόμης της επαγγελίας το αμετάθετον της βουλής αυτού, εμεσίτευσαν όρκο ή να δια δύο πραγμάτων αμεταθέτων, εν εις αδύνατον ψεύσαστε Θεόν, ισχυράν παράκλησιν έχομεν οι καταφυγόντες κρατήσε της προκειμένης ελπίδος. Ιν ως άγκυραν έχομεν της ψυχής, ασφαλείτε και βεβαίαν και εισερχομένοι εις το εσώτερο του καταπετάσματος, όπου πρόδρομος υπέρ ημώνης ήλθεν Ιησούς, κατά την τάξη Μελχισεδέκ, αρχιερεύς γενόμενος εις τον αιώνα. Peace be with you, the readers. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
so that having conquered sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual life, thinking of doing all those things that are pleasing to you. For you, O Christ, God, the light of our souls and bodies, and you, of glory, with you, eternal Father, and your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your heart. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, a man came to Jesus and kneeling said to him, Teacher, I brought my son to you, for he has a dumb spirit, and wherever it seizes him, it dashes him down, and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. And I asked your disciples to cast it out, and they were not able. And he answered them, O oh, faithless generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him, and when the Spirit saw him, immediately it convulsed the boy, and he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. And Jesus asked his father, How long has he had this? And he said, From childhood. And it has often cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have pity on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, If you can, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately, the father of the child cried out and said, I believe, Lord, help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, You dumb and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him, it came out, and the boy was like a corpse, so that most of them said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? And he said to them, This kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer and fasting. They went on from there and passed through Galilee, and he would not have anyone know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man will be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him. And when he is killed, after three days he will rise. Again, and countless times with you, the reader. Amen. Let us pray the Lord. No one bound by worthy desires, worthy approach, draw near or minister to you, the King of glory, to serve you as great and awesome, even for your angelic powers. But because of your ineffable and immeasurable love for us, you became man without duration or change. You have served as our high priest and Lord of all, entrusted to us the salvation of this liturgical sacrifice of the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherubim, the Lord of the seraphim, the King of Israel. You alone are holy and dwell among your saints. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer you this gift. For you, O Christ, are God, the one who offers and is offered, who receives and should be the true and glory of the eternal Father, and your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. To you, I come about, head and pray. Do not turn your face away from me, nor reject me when you killed you, but rather make me your sinful and worthy to offer you these gifts. Let us 
title of Roy kingdom both now and forever and on to the ages of ages. Amen. 
Αντιλαβούς όσον ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός τη συγχώρητη. Holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Lord God, you for all that is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For a Christian end to our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. Another, that with one mind we may confess. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things are made who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, 
and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and he suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Stomen calo, stomen metaphovu, proscument in a yen and a foran, and irini prosferin. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. us, God, us, let us lift up our hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to by the angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, and the many eye cherubim. Round about you stand the seraphim, one with six wings and the other with six wings. With two they cover their faces, with two they cover their feet. With two they fly, crying out to one another with unceasing voice and ever resounding praises, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, of those who had fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, that he might be himself the first in all things. Ascending into heaven, he sat at the right hand of your majesty on high, and he will come to render each according to his works. As memorials of his saving passion, he has left us these gifts which we have set before you according to his commands. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary, ever memorable and life-giving death, on the night in which he was delivered up, or rather than he gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands. He gave thanks he took and presenting it to you, God the Father, and offering thanks, blessing, and sanctify it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take eat, this is my body, which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death and you confess my resurrection. Therefore, Master, we also remembering his saving passion and life-giving cross, his three-day burial and resurrection from the dead, his ascension into heaven, and enthronement at the right hand, God the Father, and his glorious second coming again. Amen. 
we offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. But by which you have richly poured upon us, we dare to approach your holy altar and bring forth the symbols of the holy body and body of your Christ. We pray to you and call upon you, O holy of holies, that by the favor of your goodness, your Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon the gifts you are presented to bless, sanctify, Father, and bless make the holy bread. this bread to be the precious body of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless the holy cup. And this cup to be the precious blood of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless both holy gifts. Chain shed for the life of the world. Amen. And this. Amen. 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 Παναγίας αχράντου υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου δεσμίνης ημών Θεοτόκου και υπερθένου Μαρίας your peace and love of Lord our God for you have given all things to us and grant <clears throat> and grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you and with your spirit. I have to admit to you this morning 
I'm tired. It's been a long Lent. It's been a joyous Lent, but it's been a long Lent. We have completed four weeks. Tomorrow starts the fifth week of Lent. So for four and five weeks now, we have completed the fast, and now we look to moving forward as we conclude, to finish out strong. And I feel like, not that I've ever done a marathon in my life or even a half marathon or anything more than two miles, but I tell you, I feel like I've run a marathon. But I look as we're getting close, and I look up at the prize. And I keep thinking to myself, that finish line is the resurrection. That finish line is coming close. So I share with you, my brothers and sisters, for many of you who have been fasting hard and coming to the services, keep going, keep trying, keep pushing forward. You're tired, I'm tired. For those of you who are maybe just beginning, that's okay. Jump in right now. Finish the course of the fast, start today. Walk toward the resurrection. The finish line is that. The finish line is there. I'm tired. I know some of you are too, but let's keep going. Let's keep plugging away. Let's keep getting up and finishing this great marathon of holy and great Lent that leads us to the anastasy, to the resurrection. At St. Mark, we've been doing so many various services and outreach opportunities, and today again, in the hall today, if you've signed up or not, join us. We are going to make 15,000 meals for feeding children everywhere. We're going to get roll up our sleeves, put hair nets on for those of us who need it. We're going to roll up our sleeves, and we're going to start putting meals together. And when we leave, we are going to have 15,000 meals donated from St. Mark to the Boca Helping Hands. So if you've come today from little to seniors, join us in the hall. Come forth and let's all join in. If we all join in together, we can be done in a short amount of time. So let's all do our best. Today, as you leave church, there will be baskets for our Lenten outreach, and that Lenten outreach will go toward feeding children everywhere. Each year, St. Mark, out of our budget, gives around six to $8,000 for this beautiful program to hate people in need. The Philopticos always helps out, and you'll have this opportunity to participate both monetarily during Lent, but also rolling up your sleeves and getting dirty, I would say. So let's all do that. This week, we continue forth. On Monday night, we have our compline, our bereavement group. On Wednesday, we have our pre-sanctified liturgy in our last Wednesday night live where we're meeting with our Goya. We're meeting with our Goya parents. We're meeting with our men's group. This week, the women's ministry will not meet, but next week. And then on Friday, we have our beautiful Lenten Heretis Me, the final, the Akathist hymn, and then we'll go into the hall. Our archons are sponsoring the dinner that night, the Lenten dinner. And then on Saturday, we have a beautiful opportunity to learn about missions. On Saturday and Sunday, it's Mission Sunday for us here at St. Mark, and in the fellowship hall on Saturday night at six o'clock, there'll be a beautiful appetizers, an opportunity for us to come together and actually zoom in a missionary who's in the field. Father Martin Ritzi and Presidenta Rene will be here, and then they'll join us again on Sunday for to serve the liturgy and on Mission Sunday. There are so many things that we offer here at St. Mark, and I know we all can't do all of them. Our parish council leads the way being here each and every night of these services. It's truly amazing, but I want to encourage you. I want to tell you, let's finish. Let's finish Lent strong. Let's get up, if we haven't, and start today. Let's start that race toward the resurrection. All of these great opportunities we have that lead us to Palm Sunday, when our Philopticos will have a beautiful dinner for us in the hall, you can purchase tickets today. To the resurrection itself, and when we break the fast at 1.15 in the morning with three, 400 people in the hall, that's what it's about, coming together for Eucharist, for liturgy, finishing the race in community. May God bless you, may God shed his mercy upon you, and may God give us all strength as we walk toward his resurrection. Amen. Having commembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the
precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God who loves mankind, having accepted that as holy, celestial, and mystical altar, as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord have mercy. Having asked for the unity of faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you. Πατερημόν ο εν τη ουρανή αγιαστείτε το όνομά σου, ελθέτω η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθείτε το θέλημά σου ω ουρανό και επί τη ζή. Τον άρτων ημών των επιούσιων, δώσε μην σήμερα, και άφησε μην τα αφολήματα ημών, ω και εμεί αφήμεν τι φωλέτε ημών, και εμεί εν ενισχύ μα τη περασμών, αλλά ρίσσε εμά από το πονηρού. Who art in heaven. Hallowed, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us Trust from evil. evil. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Sanctify God, fortify and strengthen. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Those who are bowed our heads before you, distance them from every evil good deed, lead them every good work, and make them worthy to partake without condemnation of these, your most pure and life-giving mysteries, for the forgiveness of sins and the communion of the Holy Spirit. Amen. By the grace of God. Oh, Jesus Christ, our God, Christ, the Be attentive, Proscomer. Ayat is a yes, the whole holy gifts for the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken, you're not divided for every you never consume, sanctify those who are taken in. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ conquered. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Today is a new beginning, a new opportunity on this 
present Lenten path. We just heard a few moments ago that no matter where you are, start now. Take this opportunity as a new beginning. Today, we always have before us our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as the Word of God, the gospel being the book that directs all of our things in life. We follow Christ in all that we do. But as you can look around us, and as our church has been beautified, the saints are the present time way that we connect with our Lord and we find relevance in our place and time. Today we remember a book that helps guide the way, a book that is similar to the gospel by way of leading a life of virtue. This is called The Ladder of Divine Ascent, a book that helps us along the way in our spiritual journey. Typically, it is held within the monastic context of being read, but we can certainly learn from it in our own times as well. So my brothers and sisters, if you have fasted to this day, try more. If you haven't fasted, try harder. If you haven't prayed with frequency, start today. If you think you have prayed with great frequency, humble yourself, fall down on your knees, and pray again. If you haven't attended these services during the week, try to come. Prioritize yourself so that you can make Christ the priority in your life. If you've attended these services, do so with more earnestness. Prepare yourself more. Set your gaze towards the services that are present. If you've given alms to those in need, continue with this strength. If you've given one pair of your shoes, consider how you can give more of yourself. If you haven't given at all to your fellow man, today is the day. Father Mark just reminded us of this beautiful feeding children everywhere that is taking place, the leadership team right now in the hall, and for all of us to partake in, of giving of ourselves for the betterment of all of God's people. From a hundred hands and hearts preparing these meals to 15,000 that will receive them. It is with God that things are multiplied abundantly. Today, right now, this present moment should always be the focus for us as Orthodox Christians in life. We remember and repent for the past. We relish in the present moment of life, and we anticipate the kingdom of heaven that is to come. But the most important thing is to put your foot forward today and to make an impact with every step. So no matter where you are today in your Lenten journey, put your foot down and make an impact in this present moment. Because as we all know, this present moment is the only thing we have for sure. When we put our gaze, our spiritual gaze upon virtue, our Lord will guide the way. So in this book, The Ladder of Divine Ascent, where the virtues are present, we must be attentive to what we personally need. What I need in my spiritual life may differ dramatically from the virtues that you need to work upon. So let us each call into ourselves and at the beginning of today's gospel, we hear of something of great importance. There is a young boy who is stricken with disease. And his father goes to Christ and says, Teacher, can you help him? Teacher, can you help him? We must all have somebody in this life that we run to when we need help. We must always have somebody who is either on speed dial or a footstep away 
that can help us when we are in need of guidance. We're trying to improve our virtues during this Lenten time. We're trying to ascend that ladder of virtue, but the devil is pulling us with vice. So when we are tempted in that moment with the passions, we need that teacher to go to. And just like we have Jesus Christ that can hear our prayers, we also have the priest that stands before us in confession as the person witnessing before us to our Lord Jesus Christ. So certainly we have Christ himself to guide us, but we must also have the people around us to guide us in our every step. So today's gospel also reminds us of Christ telling that the passion and resurrection is soon before us. He tells us that we are faithless at times, but that when we call out like this father did on behalf of his son and say, Lord, I do not believe. Help me believe. Lord, help my unbelief. When we pray to God, we must ask him to help our unbelief. We are all in times that we need help. So let us look to one another. Let us look to that teacher, one of the priests here maybe, anybody who is your spiritual guide to help guide you in the path of virtue at this present time during Great Lent. Disbelief may pull us down at times. Vices may pull us off that ladder of ascent. Temptations may pull and grip us on our way up. But doing these things, going to the services, giving to your fellow person, praying with more earnestness, reading scripture, receiving of the sacraments, talking to a guide, to a teacher. These are ways that we can hold on tight when we are ascending. And lastly, we see today that in our Lord's words, he tells us that it is only through prayer and fasting that the demons can be driven out, that our temptations can loosen, that our lives can be bettered. So let us focus on these virtues at this time. And overall, we must believe in the greater picture. I saw a quote recently that said, if you focus so far ahead on the staircase, you will miss the step that is before you. So my brothers and sisters, step one step coming to the Eucharist at this time. Fill yourself with the power of Christ and therefore the staircase of the kingdom will be open to you. At this time, let us all draw forth to receive of the God that is good on this day and forevermore. Amen. As we read the prayers before Holy Communion, you each have them in your pews. I ask that our Sunday church school students prepare themselves to come to the middle so that they can receive first, and then followed by the ushers will direct you row by row. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came to the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal, amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints. If I dare to enter the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, 
let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas. But as a thief, okay. I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Metaphorous Eupistos, que agapis pro self With the fear of God, faith, love, draw near. Sacrisum, 
His praise will ever be on my lips. My soul will glory in the Lord. Let the lowly hear and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise be ever on my lips. My soul will glory in the Lord. people and bless your inheritance we have seen the true light we have received the heavenly spirit we have found the true faith worshiping the undivided trinity the trinity who has said blessed is our god always now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life creating mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us and protect us, O God. By your grace, oh, Lord, have mercy. having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. Oh, you, Lord. We thank you, Lord our God, for the communion of your most holy, pure, immortal, and heavenly mysteries, your precious body and Amen. blood, which you have granted us for the benefit sanctification of healing of our souls and bodies grant master of all that the communion of your holy body and blood of your christ may become for us faith unashamed love unfeigned fullness of wisdom healing of soul and body repelling of every hostile adversary observance of your commandments an acceptable defense at the dread judgment seat of your Christ. For you are our sanctification, and to you we offer glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. And ye deen ye pray, men, let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you. 
and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them and return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces and to all your people for every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. And to you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. We pause and offer memorial prayers, a 40-day memorial for John Perijaros, a 40-day memorial for Evanthia Stergiu, a 40-day memorial for Kiriaki Hatsikondos, a one-year memorial for Christos Pitaulis, a one-year memorial for George Kambarakis, a three-year memorial for Mike Cartier, a five-year memorial for Pandula Ganodis, a five-year memorial for Faye Volvu, an 18-year for James Volvu, and a 25-year for Evangeline Yanakis. May they rest with our Lord. Amen. Meta plumaton vikeo te telio menon Tas fichason zulon su so teran apavson Filaton naftas is in makarian zo intin parasi filanthrope In your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose Give rest to the souls of your servants, for only you, O Lord, are immortal. <speaking in Hebrew> Αυτός και τα στοιχά στον δούλον σου Σώτερα να πασώ Now and forever to the ages of ages, amen O only pure and immaculate virgin Who gave birth to God in virginity Pray for the salvation of the souls of your servants. With the saints give rest, we pray, O Christ, to the souls of your servant, where there is no more pain, no more sorrow, but life everlasting. <laughs> According to your great mercy, we pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Again, we pray for the rest of the souls of God's servants, John Evanthia, Kiriaki, Christos, George, Mike, Pandula, Faye, James, Evangeline, who have fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. May the Lord God 
May the Lord our God grant their souls where their righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, the remission of their sins. From Christ, our immortal King and God. Grant this soul, Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who trampled upon death and abolished the power of the devil and given life to your world, give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants, John, Evanthea, Kidiaki, Christos, Evangeline, George, Mike, Pandula, Fay, and James, who have fallen asleep in a place of light, in a place of comfort, in a place of refreshment, where there is no more pain, sorrow, or suffering. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin which they have committed, whether in word or deed or thought, for there is no one who lives and does not sin, except for you, the only sinless one. Your righteousness is an eternal righteousness, and your word is truth. Τον και κοιμημένον δούλον σου, όν εμνημονεύσαμε, Χριστέ ο Θεός ημών, και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν, συν το ανάρχο σου πατρί και το Παναγίο, και αγαθό και ζωπιό σου πνεύματι, νυν και αγί, και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Let us pray to the Lord. Our God of the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants who have fallen asleep. And to you we give glory together with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Everlasting be your memory, our brothers and sisters who are worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. our true God who rose from the dead is a good loving and merciful God of mercy upon us and save us through the intercession of his most pure and holy mother the power of the precious and life-giving cross the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven the supplications of the honorable glorious and prophet and foreigner John the Baptist the holy glorious and revered apostles of Saint Mark the evangelist the patron saint of our church of Joy Kimenana the ancestors of God of Saint Nikitas the Confessor, Joseph the Hymnographer, and Saint John Climacus, whose memory we celebrate today and of all your saints. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God of mercy in us and save us.
the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. As you depart church today, you make your Lenten almsgiving for feeding children everywhere. Please join us in the hall. Roll up your sleeves and let's all help out in feeding 15,000 of our faithful today. And also a reminder that you can sign up for our golf outing in the hall. We have over 100 golfers already. We need sponsorships as well. And also an important reminder even though you see many clergy up here, of course it's Father Alex and I who are the priests of the parish full time. Therefore, we do all the ministry calls. We do all the uh, sacraments, etc. It's important just to remember that especially as we're approaching Lent, confessions are done in the church and I do the confessions. Father Alex is not there yet. He'll be given the blessing soon, but it's important to remember confessions will only go to Saturday of Lazarus. So please, if you want to do confessions for Easter, come see me or speak to Dawn. You can make an appointment up until Saturday of Lazarus. Holy Week is a very long week and a very emotionally and spiritual draining week and thus we do the confessions traditionally up until Saturday of Lazarus. Thank you for remembering and thank you for always loving us like we love you. We'll see you in the hall next door. God bless you all.